One, two, three. Hey, hey guys! Hi guys! We're Sean Patrick de la Cruz. And I'm Alex Garali. <laughs> and we're here today. And we're here today to discuss the collegiate talk. <laughs> Hi there! So today, uh, another intro. Another intro. Hi there. <laughs> Hey guys, through the years, climate change has worsened. Different environmental problems, such as the melting of Arctic ice caps, have increased. Later, we'll try and recreate seawater and test its freezing point compared to regular water. Colligative properties are properties of solution that depend on the concentration of the solute within them. One example of a colligative property is freezing point depression. That means that the more solute in the solution, the lower its freezing point. Today, we are here to investigate freezing point depression with salt and water. For this experiment, we use the following materials. Water, salt, containers, measuring cup, fridge, camera, and flashlight. First, we prepared three setups. The first setup was a pure water. The second setup was a one mole unit solution of salt and water. And the third setup was a two mole unit solution of salt and water. Second, we place three containers in a freezer. Third, we waited for the setups to freeze. Fourth, we noted which order the setups froze in. After performing the experiment, we found that the setup with pure water was the first to freeze. Followed by the setup with 1 mole unit salt solution in water, and the slowest to freeze was the one with 2 mole unit salt solution in water. This confirms our knowledge that the freezing point lowers when more solute is added. From this result, we can conclude that solutions have lower freezing points than pure substances, which is a colligative property. This means that seawater, for example, melts at a lower temperature than pure water. This also means that once the ice in the Arctic and Antarctic regions melt, it will be difficult to return them back to their ice form. Yes, thank you, thank you. We're very informative, right? <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Will Biscocci here. And this is Sean Biscocci. And we'll be, we'll be talking about chemistry. 